All right, we're at the bottom of Little Cottonwood Canyon, and we're going to go up to Snowbird. And we're at the church down here at the bottom of the canyon. And we're sitting at 68% battery right now. Um, and it's saying we'll get there with 55. I'm not quite sure we'll get there with 55 because it's a pretty steep climb and I plan on having fun as long as there's not a lot of people in front of me. I plan on having fun. So <laughs> let's test this out. Let's see if we get there at 55. And then the big test is going to be on the way down. I want to see, want to see what the regenerative braking, how well it powers into the motor when you're mostly just using it the whole way down. Hopefully that makes sense. But we're going to check it out. I'm going to see how well the car handles. This is the Model 3 Standard Rage Plus 2019. See how well it handles just pulling up the hill as well. Um, there's some steep spots and uh, it looks like it's about 8.6 miles uh, up the canyon here. And then we'll turn around and come back down. Uh, I do have the wireless charging pad and I pretty much always have my phone on there wirelessly charging. And I'm always listening to some kind of music or, in this case, a podcast. Air conditioning on auto at 68 degrees. And keep all that the same. So, let's see what we get. Alright, here we are. We are back down at the bottom. There's not a spot up top to stop. It was so goddamn busy. It was insanely busy up there. It's Labor Day weekend. I should have known better. I did not really get a go faster than about 40 miles per hour on the way up. That's the speed limit. The traffic was insanely thick. Absolutely ridiculous. So we pretty much took the speed limit up. There was one spot where the traffic opened up. We were able to get going pretty quick on the way up. Um, and we got up there with 55% battery just as predicted by the Tesla navigation. We were there exactly with 55. And as you can see, we are down at the bottom again with 61. So we picked up 6% battery coming down the canyon. And actually, right when we left this church parking lot, right around that corner, it dropped to 67. So I'd almost actually say that it was 67. So that took us 12% to get um, up the canyon to the top. But then we gained. We didn't use any on the way down. We literally put power back into the battery on the way down. We left with 55 and got down here with 6 extra. So total it took us six to go up and back kind of gives you an idea of the regenerative braking is a little bit more powerful than i realized it works a little bit better than i was expecting i thought okay you know we'll come down the canyon because that's pretty crazy to think that we traveled 8.6 miles and we gained six percent battery like it's it's one thing to come down the canyon and uh not use any power but to actually get to the bottom of the canyon with more power than at the top is that's that's really cool we're utilizing all that uh, energy we to put in to climb the, the mountain that's essentially stored as kinetic energy right at the top we have that potential kinetic energy to with using gravity to come back down and we're grabbing that energy back and putting that energy back into the battery which is just a really cool thing so I did just put in my home address here. I'm not going to show you my address, but it said I was going to get home with 58% battery. So essentially we were at the top of the canyon, you know, 15 miles away from home at the top of a canyon at 55% battery. And we're going to get home with 58. All right, guys, I uh, just got home a while back, started editing this video in Premiere. And I realized two things one i did get home with 58 percent battery which was what was predicted so that's pretty good but i also noticed one thing here this is the beginning of the video it actually predicted my round trip to get back at 61 percent so that'd be a snowbird at 55 and i'd round trip back at 61 and that's exactly what we got back at when we fast forward to the uh to the end of this video you can see that we're sitting there with 61% when we got back down. So the predictions take into account, you know, elevation and everything. Um, I, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know that was a thing. So real world, this very short real world experience, uh, the Tesla navigation predictions were spot on. And that's not really what I was testing. I just wanted to see how much uh, regenerative braking I would gain. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, have a good one, guys.